Hello guys, welcome back with another video and today we are going to look into something interesting that is the saying that we came across recently over a past month or so during the protest that is to say you have messed up with the wrong generation. Now what is this wrong generation? Now, before going into in detail regarding the wrong generation, let's look into the generations of the past that is the recent past. Now as of now the oldest generation that comes across Alive is the generation that we call as the baby bloomers. The baby bloomers are the generation that those were born before 1965. Now these uh, upper and lower limits are more or less uh, arguable, but let's come to a, an average figure. The baby bloomers are generally the ones who are born before 1965. So those who are born between 1965 to 83 are called the generation X. The next comes the generation Y, those who are born between the 1982-83s up to 1997-98. Now these are the generation that is also called as millennials and most of them are children of baby bloomers. The next comes the generation Z or the generation Z as you may call, the ones who are born between 1999-2000 up to 2012 and the ones who are born after 2012 are called the generation Alpha. Now, the wrong generation that is referred over the recent posts, that is the generation Y or the millennials to which most of us belong to. Now, what is special about this generation Y or the millennials? Now, this generation is born between 83 to 97, 98. Now, another term that is used for this generation is also the 90s kids. Now, you need to be careful when you call a 90s kid because the 90s kid doesn't mean that the kid who was born in 90s, that is not between 90 to 99, but those who were kids during 90s. In other words, even those who were born from 83, 84, 85 are kids, were kids during 90s. And similarly, you cannot consider those who were born after 97, 98 as 90s kids because they were not kids, they were just toddlers. So the generation Y, millennials, 90s kids, all of this refer to the same thing. Those who were born between the mid 80s to mid 90s roughly. Now what is special about this generation Y? Now this generation Y has a very unique hybrid, hybrid lifestyle. That is, they also had the exposure to an orthodox uh, common childhood where they got to play in their in the out, in the outdoor, they had access to a natural kind of a lifestyle during their childhood. But also they were the first generation that is exposed to the digital stuff. They were the first generation to use internet, the first generation to use smartphones, the first generation to use social media. So a hybrid exposure from their childhood to their adolescence where they had a very a natural upbringing in their early childhood. And then the first exposure during their teens towards the latest of digital aspects made them unique than the generations before as well as the generations later. So these millennials also turned out to be the most intelligent in the human civilization because if you take a look into this, the cause of human civilization, with every generation the IQ levels have gone up. But rather interestingly, there is a dip observed between generation Y and generation Z. So, so far, the generation with the highest level of IQ or the highest degree of intelligence is with this generation Y. And also this generation Y is the one that went after flexibility in career choices. They were not ready for a usual 9 to 5 or routine level work. Moreover, they preferred to do more smart work than hard work. So they wanted more flexibility, more choices, more options in terms of career. Also, the generation Y always passes to a higher level of confidence and also common sense when it comes to day-to-day -day life. In addition to that, this generation Y is thought to be the last generation to understand politics. Of course, politics has, politics has always been considered as something complicated and something traditional, which as per many observers, the generations Z and the Alpha generations are failed to understand. Of course, it is too early to charge the Alpha generation, but more or less generation Z has so far failed to understand the depths of politics. 
In addition to that, the generation Y possess the ability to understand both the traditional concepts as well as the modern ethics. That makes them more liberal, more open-minded and more creative towards both life in general as well as day-to-day -day life. Hence, possessing a, lot, a set of unique characteristics in comparison with the generations before as well as generations afterwards makes the generation Y or the millennials or the 90th kids as unique as ever. So if you think that this is a wrong generation to be messed with, maybe you're right. And if you too are just like me, a part of this generation Y, then be proud of who you are. Be proud to be a millennial, to be a 90s kid and to be of Gen Y. See you again with another video.